Welcome back to the Shattered Relics League. Uh, Alright, just been AFKing some fishing training. Oh, God. Dale's Essence is amazing. Fine, I'll start getting points again. It's time to have the day to end all days. I've got some pretty good gear right now, but I'm about to get so many points through PVM, Slayer, all the stuff I haven't done. I'm currently 19k points. And this puts me at rank number nine on the high scores. Before I even think about anything, I need to get a black mask and a task from Jordel. And scroll looking through this list. Why is it not alphabetical? What is this? I've waited to do any Slayer until my superior slaying fragment is level three. It's a one in 30 chance to get any any superior. A fragment of a superior. I think these are tier two combat ones, so there's a high chance I don't have this yet. What's it gonna be? Divine Restoration. I restore one prayer point every 3.6 seconds at level three. That sounds crazy for AFK. Also, absolute unit and twin strikes are really, really good set effects. Oh, I got it. <laughs> what? I wasn't even looking at the screen. Black Mask Obtained. I'm like twice the drop rate on that. Nice. Also, an easy 20 superiors, 50 points. How have I still not killed an Abyssal Demon in this league? 125 points for doing it on task. Before I did any more melee, I figured I'd get some D-boots. D-boots, 50 points. Ooh, a missed battle staff off a superior. I'll probably end up getting all the drops off them because I get them so often. 50 points for that, so that's a nice welcome bonus. Okay, then it's finally done all my days. That took far, far too long. A Abyssal whip, three times drop rate, by the way. I think I went, look at this, 492 plus all the greeters. If you are a Slayer enjoyer and you need some points, I would recommend training it because it is pretty efficient. I'm gonna go wild with my Renown. I'm gonna unlock every single thing when I get to it because we're getting a rebate soon. And that is a Thermo Nucleus Moat Devil Thumb. 50 for my first Slayer boss, 125 for the Thermi, 175, we're climbing. Well, I was just sitting here contemplating whether I should go get a Slayer Helm or I should kill the little ones, or whatever I should do, but I got the occult on 4KC of the boss, so that's pretty much solved all that decision making for me. 125 points. Dark bow, as I train my slayer, I may as well knock out these individual items. The first melee, 99, 99 strength coming in, 125 for 99s, they are elite tasks. And they're going to give us a lot of points over the next few days. Money is running very low for whatever reason. I don't know why. I just never have enough. But I've got enough totems right here in my inventory to change that. I've done my fair share of Catacomb Slayer. So I've got enough shards for an arc light. 3,000 charges on that bad boy. Skatizo, my next boss unlock. May as well do 10kt here. It's a nice, easy 100 points. Unlock. I need five inventory slots. It turns out unlocking Skatizo gets you five totems. If I had known that, I would have done that way earlier. You could get some good GP and stuff from that. Herblor is always going on in the background as I gradually max, and there is Super Combat, 125. From all my slaying, I've managed to get enough points for Malevolent Masquerade, and now I can make the Slayer Helm, finally. All the money I made from Skatizo. It's all gone, 1.25 mil cash down the drain, but it's worth it for the Helm. If you need some points, Dagonos. It's time to go to the Kings. It's only a 25 point unlock right now, which is pretty cheap considering how many tasks there are down here. I'm not really sure how I can do this fastest. Maybe absolute unit in the middle like I am now, just reflecting all the damage or picking some damage ones. I'm going to have some tests and see what to do. The first of many points from Dagonoth Kings. While the DKs don't actually hit too hard, so absolute unit isn't great, I'm going to go for DPS relics over anything. I've decided I'm going to focus on one combat style at a time so I can maximize the amount of fragments I've got on it, leave the cave, and go down in another entrance. We've got three to use here, so may as well do this. Archer's ring, vest in slot range. Another piece of that set. Holy, I'm getting up there. Let's get this Lord of the Rings. Fuck gangster rap. But I didn't even notice at first. Oh my, I'm so lucky. I didn't even get points for that because I've already got a boss pet this league. That's five league pets in total now. Yes, yes, yes. Sears ring. We're over the rate for that, but you're going to go over the rate for one of the rings. Wear that piece, and that is a lot of points. 50 for the Sears, and then 125 
for the full Lord of the Rings set. Funds are going down, more money down the drain, and Berserkering imbued. I'm going to save the other ones for a little bit. In the interest of gaining some nice quick points, I am down here at the Cerberus Lair. Maybe I can snag myself some nice boots. 125 points. I should have done this sort of stuff earlier when I was actually going for 15k total points. Right, you can boost this as well, plus eight slayer. Unfortunately, the double hits of the arc light doesn't work. So my terrible gear is present here at Cerberus. But look, it's pretty good. 60s with a whip, getting double hits. Right, we're chilling. And that should be another task. Yep, skipping the ghosts. 125, we had enough DPS. I'm very happy about that. I reached the drop rate to see a unique 39 KC, no boots, but... I'm not too fussed about the boots. They don't really add too much in terms of your DPS. So I'm going to move on while I got the easy point from Cerberus. If you're thinking, where's this guy's defender? I just don't want to compete with like 15 people a world. Look, everyone's just camping their own Cyclops spawn. This just looks so bad. I need to wait for it to die down, but defender's so good. It's like frustrating. I did a little bit more alking and I got myself enough cash to upgrade the Archer and Sears ring. And now we have all the best in slot rings, range magic and melee. Next up on the menu, Alchemical Hydra. 95 Slayer needed, I've just got that. And there are a ton of points to be had here. It's 75 to unlock, so expensive. But we're getting a load of Renown back soon, so that should be no problem. 125 for 1kc, oh my days, that was terrible. A little bit rusty, I can't lie. But I'm going to do some KC, hopefully get a unique. Who knows, I could get that thing and then we could get to raids with it. 50 more points for the combat achievements. They're all just going to come in so easily through doing PVM. 25 mil range as well. It's all going on at the Hydra. Must be getting a pretty decent XP an hour here. The combat stats will just naturally get to 25 mil. Don't have to worry about those too much. And 25 KC at Hydra. I've actually been quite enjoying it, to be honest. And I'm close to the Grandmaster time. I might stay for a little bit. My four-way armadillo effect is coming in. The bolts are popping off. Can we skip this phase? Oh my days. Double tap as well. It's all going on. Hopefully, that should be quick enough for the Grandmaster time. Grandmaster achievement done. Nice. Rank one is within touching distance. And I've come to the chambers of Zeric to throw away my last renown to try and get some of these speed tasks and just snipe it. Spending 100 renown on the chambers of Zeric, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. So many big points here. This might be a terrible idea. For the second time in my life, I'm doing a challenge mode solo raid. I only done it once before in 07 with max gear and that was terrible. So this is probably also going to go terrible. I'm going to cover raids more in depth in my next video. I'm just kind of cheesing it for now, but I just can't help. Look at this. Oh, yes, please. The vanguards, they're just the equal damage and absolute unit reflects all the damage back onto them. Probably not even efficient to do it like this, but I love my little cheese strats. There's no way any of these are going to reset. Absolute unit is just turning Vespula into tutorial mode right here. You take half damage, so you can easily get your redemption up every single time. This is a disaster. I was banking on using my unholy warrior relic, which means I have to get zero prayer points, but my prayer keeps recharging. I need zero for increased accuracy and they're going up. It just went from one to two. Even though that was really, really terrible, we still made the time and I get 550 points. Challenge mode, chambers of Zeric done. My prayer fragment fucked me. It was restoring my prayer points and I've got one to stop drone. You might have noticed I'm a fan of the good old high scores and we're going for that rank in game right now. But my favorite high scores are the YouTube high scores and we're on that grind as well. This is one that you can help me with. Subscribe to the channel. We are quickly climbing those ranks. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting. No way. I've actually missed it by nothing. I've missed the 50-minute task. Oh, that's so frustrating. I still do get some points for sub-55. Like, incrementally going down, there are so many points in here. If I was better at raiding or had better gear, I'd be able to claim them. But I'm going to move on to a regular raid right now. You have to be joking. Look at the time. One second over what I needed. But anyway, I still got 800 league points from a regular raid. All right, I'm a bit better at this than challenge mode. Oh, I got a fragment as well. Nice, nice, nice. That's probably going to be a tier 4 if it's from raids, I'm imagining. Surely it's going to be big. Please no Jeep. Come on, be something nice. Oh, Bandosian Might. That is my last god fragment. And that is a really good one. I know it is. I've seen people using it. This one's interesting. It's like the other God Wars ones. If I'm wearing four Bandos items, I'll get the effect. And at level 3, 
For each attack speed I have, I increase my max hit by four. So a whip max hit is plus 16 and a god sword max hit is plus 28. It's also got twin strikes, which is a very nice set effect. I think it's worth coming to raid, 100%. While I scout another raid on my alt, I was killing some trolls. And I got 99 attack. We're so close to that rank one right now. No way. He's here. GLM Tom, this is the current rank one. And I'm rank two in points if I log out. Oh, no. He's come to do the tasks here, for fuck's sake. He's definitely going to win then. Yeah, if you look at the high scores, he just logged out. 27k. I can't catch that. I'm on 25 something. Oh, no. And I was only able to get to rank two. Uh, it's still acceptable though, right, guys? Right? Guys? Police brutality. 